welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lucian Overwhelm. First deck of the day. It's a viewer submitted deck. Viewer, uh, one of our subscribers here in the channel said this is what they've been using to rank up with. And so we're going to give it a try. It's been a while since we've played, um, you know, just a, a Lucian Overwhelm deck. Uh, this The Overwhelm part, of course, we got two Cat of the Arm and two Might. And the reason why Overwhelm works so well with Lucian and Senna is because of the double attack. With the double attack, um, you know, like for leveled up Lucian or if Senna gets its bonus, um, whenever you give the a unit with double attack Overwhelm, both strikes will hit the opponent's Nexus. Um, so you can do a ton of damage to the opponent's Nexus. We also got Garen in here, just a lot of good cards. Genevieve Elmhart back to back. We got Captain Farron to close out games. This deck looks pretty strong, just, just got a lot of good stuff. So let's give it a shot. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked like we always do. And we're going to see how we do with Lucian Overwhelm. So that's our first deck today. We got one donation deck with Revitalizing Ledros. That's going to be a combo deck with Revitalizing Roar, Ledros, and Atrocity. Trying to be able to do Ledros Atrocity in one turn to kill the opponent. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we're going to play Yasuo Leona by popular demand from YouTube. Garen's, Garen's just such a good card. I want to keep... Ugh, I don't want this Farron. We're playing against aggro, so we want to fill out the spaces before Garen. That will help. Garen's just so good at... Um, at leveling out the board. Worth it. Worth it to keep. Then we're going to try Targon at Bilgewater Aggro with Diana and Misfortune. Garen with multiple single combats could be awesome for us. We'll have to see. Rummage away a rummage. Break their spirits and their swords. Just like we drew it up. Sorry about that. Bards were, the dogs were barking. Sorry about that. So that plus vision, not plus vision. So they just want to do an extra point of damage to the protege, I suppose. And get a jury rig in to block. My beautiful face. That's fine, I'll definitely take that trade. We have a better board than they do, and we have four cards, and they have three and a half. Rules are made to be broken. Like this. Her people. Well, this one's not great. Um, hopefully I can take six damage. I don't know if I can. Hopefully I can. So I would like to pump up the protege. Guy with the arm's good too. But I want Garen to play. Um, so I want to pump up the protege and have protege challenge Jinx. Time to move. My first big All right, basically planning on having single combat. Okay. Well, I was going to have Garen kill the Bunku rookie, but we'll just have... We'll just strike here. I guess I could still do Garen kill Jinx, but the problem with trying to do Garen kill Jinx is that it's possible they could unload their hand. Uh, you know, if they just have, like, a rummage, their hand gets unloaded, Jinx levels up, now it's five power, and then my Garen dies. I guess, but then so with their leveled up Jinx, so maybe that'd be worth it. Just gonna put this here. So down to ten. Can they do ten points of damage? Interesting. They didn't want to challenge my Garen. I hope this works. 
That could have been them trying to do another two points of damage. No, Harvey. Right, right, like they could have done... Yeah, they, they should have just done that, like... Oh man, then they had Vision also? Because then they could have just challenged my Garen with this O2. I mean, obviously I had removal, so it wasn't going to work, but... I think that's what they were supposed to do. No blocks. I'm doing that first. Cause I, I thought like I could see them like responding with like a mystic shot, something like that to try to kill Garen, and then I would use the concerted strike afterwards. Um, but of course, obviously, they can just let that that happen. use the judgment but I could also just also just hard cast Garen afterwards I guess it's better to play more threats first definitely have to assume that they have mystic shot to kill Garen right like they have to don't really know how they deal with Captain Farron though what's the worst that could happen Okay, so it would have been game if I would have just attacked. But still, I don't I don't know how they deal with Captain Farron. Okay, one and know. Oh. Alright, over to Gangplank Sedwani. Lots of bilge water running around these days. I do like all four of these cards quite a bit. The only problem with Double Fleet Feather Tracker is make it rain. So I think because of that, we're going to mulligan one tracker, and I'm also going to just mulligan the six drop. I don't really want to keep two very expensive cards in my opener. Let's get to it. We'll keep one, though. Hey, Juan, welcome from Chile. Awesome. Glad you've been learning a lot watching the streams and the videos. Glad to hear, and, and yeah, welcome, and glad to have you here. I assume they would open attack, because they want to get their plunder going, but... Shouldn't assume things. So I'm going to be blocking the Jagged Butcher to have my protege go down to a to go to two health, not one health. And now I'm going to challenge the Sparring Student immediately. Um, looks like I, I guess I could have played Warchefs first, but then if I go Warchefs first, then they play whatever unit to pump up Sparring Student, and maybe even a Petty Officer to Eyes pump it up twice. So between Garen, Garen and Radiant Guardian, got some decent options this turn. Hey there. How do they stop single combat from Garen here on the 1-1? Oh, they just want to full on attack. Oh. This will not take long. <clears throat> it's 
too easy to kill the 2 1 if I try single combating. I don't want to trade single combat for Make It Rain. I don't want to make that chain or that trade. Stay resolute. My yeah, maybe it was Make It Rain with Keg. Yeah, well, maybe they had Powder Keg. You own what you take. No, we're gonna use this mine. These woods belong to us. So Garen normally would be a 5-5 five five and would not trade with Sejuani, so I think it's okay to attack with Garen where if they want to block with Sejuani and then also they make it rain. And they have both of those to kill my Garen. I think that's okay. We do what is right. Hold nothing back. They just played a Make It Rain last turn. I just hope they don't have another. You know, I hope they don't have another one. It's possible they do. Obviously, it looks like they do. I refuse. They're not a twisted fate deck. So hopefully they miss Garen. Okay, end result. Our board is even, and we have four cards, and they have three cards. So while that was, like, the best thing that could happen for my opponent, end result is still pretty good for us. Especially with our specific cards that we have. Babbling Bjork can still go find a bunch of... Could find a... Some Riptide Rexes. Which obviously we don't want to see Riptide Rex. Yeah, Radiant Guardian definitely good with, with these single combats that I I have patiently held on to. What's up, Ping? I'm doing good. Um Put them down to five. And also keep my Captive Farron at an 8 8. And also gain another five life. So we can go up to 19. We are playing Trundle and Ledros. If you want to see, click the link right above you <laughs> that, that has the deck list. Um, if you want to see the, the list for our revitalizing Ledros, it was a, a viewer submitted list. It's a combo deck. Did they disconnect? I don't know. They're just not doing anything. All right, there we go. GG's. Scouts. Okay, I could definitely see playing three of your... Let's see. Against Scouts. Um, I mean, all these cards are good. We'll... Get rid of the Concerted Strike with it just being a little bit more expensive. Um, but I do like all of those. Grizzled Ranger is a little expensive as well, but it's a really nice card. Can uh, trade with their Grizzled Ranger or, you know, just be like a two for one. They got the one drops. Don't get in my way. Feel the sizzle. Eat up, friend. Kind of expecting repost. Sweet. Fortune favors the bold. It's debating single combat. Here we go. I'm 
just gonna play a Ranger's Resolve. I'll do my best. I hope they challenge Lucian. So we're gonna take the, the damage from the little Badger Bear, but... These attacks just don't really make sense. Like, they're just getting rid of the Cytheria and the Fleet Feather Tracker each to do one damage to my War Chefs and my Lucian. It just doesn't make any sense to attack with those. That's great for us. Those are really poor attacks. Now, Garen or... Yeah, I guess it's just Garen. I know you're cool, Radiant Guardian. And steady wins the I'm gonna get gonna get Garen in play first. Soldiers, to me! Demacia! Demacia. Okay. I will take that. I will trade Garen. For Bannerman and Loyal Badger Bear and Single Combat. I will trade my one Garen for all three of those cards. That sounds good with me. A symbol worth fighting for. Fall to our standard. <laughs> No. All right. Well, it's unfortunate. My only way to keep Lucian alive is to kill the War Chefs. I'll level up Lucian, and now Lucian stays alive, so we can get more attacks. Put them down to one. <clears throat> I want to just repost this Lucian right away. Break their spirits and their swords. Oh, we're gonna keep attacking. Won't get away this time. Let's attack again. Who does not know the name Laurent? This is mercy. Peace will not take long. And GG's. We are three and O. Put to rest. More bilge water. It's just kind of all bilge water these days in the metagame. Alright, this hand not looking so good. I don't really even like Senna on turn three. Um, you know, not with other stuff. I'm going to just mulligan. Let's try again. This is going to be a, a really removal heavy version with splashing Shadow Isles in the Bilgewater deck with Thresh. Nope. Yeah, no. Well, the good news is they don't get any kind of bonus from that, so it's just a one for one trade. It's me trading one mana for uh, two of their mana. They don't even get a little spiderling or nothing. Yep. It's just all Petty Officer decks. <laughs> just the, the whole metagame right now is Petty Officer. I, yeah, I think it's worth playing Grizzled Ranger. I won't back down. 
Uh, yeah, you, we don't have to level up Lucian that much, but I mean, we just leveled up Lucian from having four allies die the last game. I don't think that, like, level up Lucian is, like, the be-all, end-all, have to do that kind of thing. Just Lucian's really good, and Lucian's great with, with Overwhelm, but... I think the, the most common way for our Lucian to level up probably is Senna dying. That's probably our, our most... Most likely thing. Alright, so I either repost and keep my Warshafts alive or we play the 5-5 Radiant Guardian. We're gonna go ahead and do that. This Captain Farron has been nice at the top end. I'm expecting Thresh to block Lucian. We live here. Okay, or not. There's, so that will level up their Thresh? Oh, not even quite. Almost level up Thresh. What do they want Make It Rain to do? Like, why even play Make It Rain right now? I mean, they got fortunate that it dealt damage to me. That's like the best it can do. Try again. That helps their gangplank. Okay, yeah, I think we just do that. Let's put them down to one. But then they're going to be able to come back and attack with Thresh. And have Gangplank coming in. Like, they're... They're going to have a good turn next turn. Let's end this. It's like, this is me kind of using a lot of resources just to push a bunch of damage in. So we have the Captain Farron, so we're at 20. Gotta stay at a high life total and hopefully have Captain Farron finish this out. That's the plan. I rarely forget. I never forget. Follow my lead. So playing Genevieve Elmhart means Lucian dies. If I keep we can keep Repost up and protect Lucian, so this means Lucian dies, but this also means that I have great blocks on the Gangplanks now. And their Thresh dies. So this means I can take out all three champions. All right, well, we're looking pretty good. Didn't even need the Ledros. Looking good. What do we got? Oh, hey, it's Bilgewater. What a surprise. What a surprise. Bilgewater. Our hands are not quite as good as it has been. <clears throat> that could be okay. But they do have the attack token turn one with, you know, with a, that good one drop. That's that's going to be really nice for them for leveling up. That is also a good card. Oh, 
what a surprise. Petty officer on turn three. Haven't seen that one before. So petty officer and war chefs trade. You point, I shoot. <clears throat> and now we're going to be challenging the cutthroat. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. I need more hands. Hmm. Run them through. Aha. It's basically like the uh, them just blocking with the one drop, right? Like it's basically like that's basically the same thing as them just blocking with that one drop, whatever Success. it was. Yeah. The Sen is always gonna have vulnerable. But I think it's still keeping it's still good to keep it alive for another turn. So that's one strike for Garen. We get to attack on our turn for the second strike. Question is really what I want to do this turn between back to back Genevieve Elmhart, Double Senna, Lucian Senna. We have some really good options between all of that kind of stuff. I kinda of think I want to go right to attacks before a Sejuani comes down. I think we're just gonna go to attacks first. And then probably play Lucian Senna. Safety will cost you. Another day, another monster to slay. Not a problem when you're by my side. So they're at three. Yep, such a gangplank are at three. Pain is nothing. I wish I could do another thing besides this back to back. Purity and peace. Justice waits for no one. Prove your worth. Show them our teeth. I mean, I guess I could just do the two that they don't block and just go for lethal. I guess that's probably the best play. Okay, so they didn't. Uh, so we're going to do this Senna and kill their Sejuani. And then... Uh, um... And then I guess I go on this Senna that has Vulnerable. I know I'm not getting more damage in, but I, I think I just want to do it on this one that has Vulnerable so they can't just, like, kill it on their side. I don't really mind that I'm not getting that 3 damage in. We know the value of coin. A little surprised they're still, you know, they're willing to attack. Or Demacia. I'm thinking we're going to have a 5-0. Go ahead, scare me. I'm thinking we're going to have a 5-0. Yeah. Okay, okay. With me. It's 
Not a bad card to nab. But there we go. For Demacia. We did what was Five and zero oh with Lucian Overwhelm. This deck was pretty sweet. We just had our our Demacia stuff early, and uh, then Captain Farron late. Captain Farron was awesome. This card was great. Like this is a really good way to just finish out games. Uh, I like I really liked having Captain Farron at the top end of our deck. Um, I think that that was pretty sweet. Um, Laurent Protege was amazing. We only have two Protege Proteges in here, but we like frequently drew Protege and like had Protege on turn three all the time. That should probably be a three of to make sure that that's something that's more reliable uh, because Protege is amazing. Um, but I don't know exactly what I would take out for another Protege. Honestly, it's maybe Senna, which is kind of weird. It's like Protege is like a probably a better card than Senna most of the time. Um, but you know, maybe maybe it's one of these top end cards. Like, like maybe it's Cato the Arm. Like Cato's a, you know, it's it's a card that that can be good at times. I don't know. I don't know exactly where you fit in a third protege, but there probably should be three proteges. I mean, I, I like all these cards though. I think Radiant Guardian mm -hmm. is awesome in this format with all these Bilgewater decks. I think it's it matches up great against Bilgewater. So you, I think you definitely want your Radiant Guardians back to back. Is awesome. Genevieve, Captain Farron, like these cards are great. Garen was just incredible, of course. Um, maybe it's one of the mites, honestly. Like, might is... I guess it's probably one of the mites. Might is just kind of... It's a little gimmicky with the overwhelm. It's it's something that, like... If it if it if if it's great, like, it's, it's okay. It's, it's great. Um, whoops. Uh... But maybe you don't need two mites. Like, we have Cat of the Arm for the Overwhelm also. Maybe you don't need two. Maybe that's where you can fit in another Protégé. Like, just, like, like imagine, like, mulliganing the cards and imagine us drawing. Because, like, with, in this deck, there's two and two. So, like, those times that we were drawing Protégé after we mulligan, those could have been mites. And that would have been so much worse for us if there were mites instead of Protégés. So that should probably be changed to be three and one. You could see 11 spells. That's good. Ranger's Resolve is good. Um, yeah, I think that would work. All right, we got a 5-0. There we go. We don't five O's are pretty rare. Like they really are. Like that's not easy to to go five and O. And we got one here with Lucian Overwhelm. Pretty sweet. All right, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.